So we're just going to put that all together. And you have now learned how to do the double Shinku Hidoken combo. And you progressed all the way up there. Hello everyone, welcome back to a combo guide. Today we're going to be continuing, continuing from the combo we did last time, which was this combo. So, to continue from this combo, you need to know the property of Shinko Adoken. Now, when we're in the air, you can pull the stick up or down, and it will cause him to aim the beam. This is very important for the next part. So, just like we did last time, light, medium, heavy, forward, heavy, heavy, donkey kick. Let's put on that input so you can see that. Light, medium, heavy, forward, heavy, medium, heavy, forward, heavy, Tatsu. Into medium, heavy, forward, heavy, launcher. Medium, medium, heavy, Hidoken. Now, when you hit the Hidoken, you want to hit them in the toes. Again, you want to hit them in the toes. This is so that they catch the top of the beam so that when you start aiming the beam down, they start moving down with the beam. You see, he's starting to move down. He's jittering up and down. The reason we want to do that is so that when he pops up at the end, because the Hidoken causes a pop-up on the last hit. Even in the air. You'll see it causes him to pop up higher. So when that pop-up happens, we'll be able to hit the jumping S on the way down. So let's take a look at what that's going to look like. So we can hit the jump S on the way down. And once you hit the jump S, all you're going to do is jump up. And she go ahead and again. Except you're going to aim it down. You're just going to hold down as you fire it. You're just going to hold straight down. So it always goes right down. 